Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and this is Kayla, and Kayla helps us with our bad breath testing. So now that the masks are coming off, you know, you can't really hide your bad breath. Your bad breath could be hidden a little bit by masks before, but these days with the masks coming off, if you've got bad breath, people are going to know it. Well, let's talk about some of the main causes of bad breath. The first cause is really bacteria in the mouth. Almost all chronic bad breath is caused by bacteria. And we can almost always identify those bacteria and eliminate those bacteria in order to eliminate the bad breath. Kayla, another cause of bad breath is what? A lot of people have gum disease that they're unaware of and that can be a big factor with the odor because of the bacteria that is hanging out in your gums. Absolutely. Another major cause of bad breath is food that you eat. If you're having food with garlic, if you're having food with onions, those things can majorly cause bad breath and it'll take a day or so before that goes away. That's really not chronic bad breath. Chronic bad breath is there almost all of the time and almost all of that time is caused by bacteria. What about dieting, Dr. Nima? Dieting is great if you're overweight, but dieting is terrible if you're worried about bad breath because if you are dieting and if you're strictly dieting, you can emit what's called ketone bodies. And ketone bodies have a very strong and foul odor. Very often we find that people who are ketogenic diets or very high protein diets have bad breath related to these ketone bodies. And I've noticed some people, if they don't have breakfast in the morning, can have a very bad breath. Dr. Nemeth, what if they're not keeping up on their hygiene or their home care at home or well, keeping up on their cleanings? Obviously, if your home care is not good, you're not getting regular cleanings, that can also cause a buildup, again, of bacteria and other malodor producing materials. So that's also a factor. But I would say, let's go over the five factors. Number one, bacteria in the mouth that are giving off basically sulfur or sulfur related compounds, gum disease that can cause bad breath, eating the wrong foods, garlic, onions, highly fermented foods definitely can cause malodor. Not eating enough foods, being on a diet, you can get ketone bodies, also can cause malodor. And there's not getting your teeth clean, not taking care of your mouth can cause you to have bad breath. So we've got a number of ways that we use to test bad breath. Kayla, why don't you talk about the first one? We have our helimeter test, our halitosis Richter test, um, which it tests sulfur compounds or odor when you breathe. And this helps us get somewhat of a basis of what kind of odor we're dealing with. So this is the helimeter. It will actually be one of the tests that we use to determine bad breath, whether you have bad breath or not. And then what's the name of this other test? And we have the Bainazyme test here, which tests any bacteria that could be in the tongue, on the tongue, in the mouth. Uh, we have, this incubates the bacteria when we take samples. You'll either come out with no bacteria, you'll get some certain ones, or you get more. So we have the Banna test for bacteria that tend to cause malodor. And then we have what's called the sniff test, which is sort of the ultimate test, where we ac actually take a sample from the patient's oral cavity on a piece of gauze, and we sniff it, and we can tell whether there's bad breath or not. And <laughs> believe it or not, we've got all of these sophisticated tests, but I would say the sniff test maybe is really the one that's really telling or the most reliable. We hope this was valuable to you. You know, we get patients from all over the United States. We get patients from all over the world. We cure almost or eliminate bad breath in virtually every one of these cases. So if you have bad breath, we can determine whether you do or not. And if so, we can almost certainly eliminate that bad breath 
which also amazingly and to me eliminates morning breath. So we're here to help you. Remember, if your mouth's not healthy, your body just can't be as healthy as it normally would be. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Questions, comments, we'd love to hear from you. Have a really good day. Thanks. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.